All right, uh, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about a string function. So the first function that I'm going to talk about is is letter. So is letter looks at a looks at a string and tells you whether a character inside of the string is a letter or not by giving you a logical one or zero. So let's say you use this function on the string one two, th uh, three, Halham. What we expect is something like this. One, 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 zero, zero, zero. Uh, sorry, the opposite. Zero, 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 one, 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 one. All right, let's try it out on MATLAB. So is letter don't forget the single code, one, two, three. Um, uh, great, so let's see what it is. So you see zero, 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 one, 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 one. lots of ones actually, six ones here. All right, so this was, that was one function. We also have something called a space, which is an interesting one. What it does is pretty simple, just like letter. A space, uh, Right, well, yeah, a space looks at a string and tells you if there's a space by giving you a logical one or zero. So let's say one, two, three, there's a space here, four, five, a. String close. So let's try this on our MATLAB command window. One, two, three, space, four, five, a. All right, you see, there's a one in the middle, which is our space. So that was simple. Let's try something a little hard. Actually, not not so much. We're still on is functions. The last one is is char. Sorry, this is let me try it out again. Is char. What it does is basically it looks at something and tells you whether it's a string or not. What do you mean? Well, I mean this, for example, as char, this is a char, you know that, because it's inside single quotes, right? One is char 3.141592. It's not, because it's a number. This is basically what is char does. It looks at a, looks at, looks at a, a variable and tells you whether or not it's a char. All right. We also have something called int to stir. This is two, and this is num to stir. So int to stir converts numbers, well, not numbers, converts integers into string. Num to stir converts real numbers, let me type it out, real numbers, into string. So what is a good example for it? Let's say I want to convert 38 to string, like this, right? So the result is going to be this. Fantastic. Let me erase that and try num to stir on MATLAB. All right, so let's say this is num to stir 3.141592.6. Oh, well, we've got only four decimals. What happened to the rest? Well, default gives us only four decimals, but we can change it like this. So if you press the up, up key, it's gonna give you the previous call. So, ah, sorry, I, I forgot to end it. So, put a comma here and indicate how many decimals you want. Let's say I want six. Well, I got six. What about I want seven or eight? Well, I got eight, right? Well, actually, it's not exactly the decimal as you figure it out. It's the it's total number of uh, numbers. We can also make it like two and we're gonna get 2.1. All right, 
we also have we also have it the opposite way. What does that mean? It means uh, I always forgot to switch my switch my key. Okay, this is stir two num. So we are turning a string into a number, and we also have stir to double. So what it does is pretty simple. Let's say I have something like this. I have 38 since I've converted into a string like this. If I use this, what I'm going to get is the number 38, not the char. Um, also, we can do something as crazy as this. Uh, let me say I have I have this guy stir to num. Let me use this stir to num. And inside single quotes, I have this sixty six. There's a space here, space ten, and there's space again one hundred seventy. Wow, what am I going to get? You're going to get a vector, right? Not a full fledged vector, but a row vector. So let me try that and show you what we can get out of it. So we got 66, 10, 170. You see? So let me take its sum. What I'm going to get is the sum of 66 plus 10 plus 170, which is equal to what? Let me do that in a different color. Orange, I hate that. 246. Perfect. But what I would say is, of course, you cannot do this thing with stir to double. But most of the time, you are not going to do this. So I suggest you that you should use stir to double because it has more or less more numbers. And it's a more logical choice. Um, and that's all about it for string functions. I'll see you on another extras. Thank you for watching.